and um, it's SPF 30, which is kind of weak, but I guess some sunlight kind of has to get through, and considering the fact that my vitamin D levels were low the last time I went to the doctor and did a blood panel or whatever, which was over a year ago, which means I need to go back to the doctor whenever I get a chance. Hi guys, it's Otaku Gunso, and as you can see, I have a slight change of environment going on, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm actually here to talk about this, the Hint SPF, which, check it out, like, look at that, look at that, oh, oh, it's Hint Sunscreen, everyone, and it exists, actually, it existed for a while, because, again, I do subscribe to their newsletter, and I do get the water, and I talked about the water, and everybody knows about that, the cucumber flavored water, whatever, go back and watch that, then come back to this, okay, but yeah, Hint flavored SPF right here. Actually, it's pear flavored, which is even more interesting, but I still have yet to try it because I just got it yesterday. So yeah, that was definitely a thing. And like most SPFs, you gotta wait at least 15 minutes before going out into the sun and then trying it on like a boot that fits or something like that. But uh, yeah, so it's Hint SPF which uh, they got an SPF of about 30 in here, and it's the suns the sunscreen spray edition. Broad spectrum sunscreen SPF 30 water resistant. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That, that, that's how you gotta get on the whole thing or whatever. And this one is actually, they say on the back here, SPF 30 sunscreen from the makers of Hint Water. No oxybenzone, no parabens. So I guess it's supposed to be like all natural type of stuff or whatever. Let's try to read these drug facts and see what's in it. Let's see. Active ingredients. Avobenzone. Octino... Okay, I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I'm like totally butchering it right now. And I don't know how to pronounce this other crap. But anyway, uses is to help prevent sunburn. It used as directed with other sun protection measures. See directions. Decreases the risk of skin cancer and early aging caused by the sun. Because even though sunlight is good for vitamin D levels, it can be bad on the skin. <laughs> in long periods of time or whatever and it's summertime so you gotta stock that SPF right there okay so of course it's flammable so you don't want to keep it in uh, temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit which I don't know how you gotta store anything like 120 degrees Fahrenheit unless you like throw it in the oven or something and try to like cause an explosion or whatever but you would pretty much just be stupid to do that but uh, anyway Directions apply liberally for 15 minutes before sun exposure. Spray onto the skin and rub for complete and even coverage. Do not spray on the face. Spray on the hands and rub into the face. But I think for the face, I should probably just like switch back to foundation or something because I don't know, like the the foundation gives you a little bit more coverage or whatever. I mean, I'm going to have to talk to my mom about that because she knows about all the good makeup and she gets like the ones with the SPF 50 and all that kind of stuff. So I should definitely talk to mom about that. But anyway, reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or sweating immediately after towel drying. At least every two hours, you must reapply. And, of course, children under six months got to ask the doctor. So, yeah. Sun protection measures. Spending time in the sun increase your risk of skin cancer and early skin aging. To decrease this risk, regularly use sunscreen with broadband, broad spectrum SPF value of at least 15 or higher. And other sun protection measures, including limited time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wear long sleeves, shirts, pants, hats and sunglasses um okay so i don't wear enough hats but i do have them like so that's definitely a thing then we got inactive gradients which more stuff that i don't know how to pronounce but i guess they're just being like all kind of technical and whatever 
Um, let's see. They do have kiwi in it. They have like that aloe vera leaf juice, whatever. They do have um, passiflora in... Okay, I don't know what the heck that is. But uh, raspberry fruit. Okay, so this thing says pear like right there. And there's no pears in the entire ingredients. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, yes, I definitely have yet to actually try this stuff out. But I should definitely... Uh, and see how it works out, you know, because um, it's going to take a while before this uh, little skin discoloration around here kind of like evens out and whatever, because apparently wherever I wear my watch is like, you know, right around here. So um, that part didn't get touched by the sun, but the rest of my arm did. So I'm just waiting for that to go back to normal. But, uh, anyway, let's try it. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, you gotta, like, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, it does smell pretty good. Uh, yeah. It, it definitely... Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh wow, this is really convenient. That is like, Ugh. wow, it smells so good. <laughs> it really does. It, it's it's like wearing like cheap perfume without actually wearing perfume. Um, I don't know if I should put it on my neck. I have to try to not get it to touch my hair. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put it on my face, but anyway. I think I'll just wear a hat for my face, you know? Just kind of like running around doing the usual thing. Although I still do have to wait 15 minutes before going out, so um, yeah, we'll definitely see what happens. I cannot see anything on my phone because it's not bright enough, but that SPF stuff is pretty shiny. Oh goodness. Okay, now I can really see the discoloration <laughs> that happened on my wrist there. <laughs> or the rest of my arm rather than my wrist that was protected by my watch or something. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Crazy stuff. <laughs> Although, I wonder how long to actually stand out here to make for an adequate test <laughs> of the SPF. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, probably like two hours or something. Uh, I don't have enough idle time. <laughs> So I was able to adequately test the SPF on the outside and go figure all that time I was standing around and no bees or bugs or anything else came after me. So yeah, that's a very good thing to say the least. Because usually when you have something that smells fruity like this, you got the bees and the bugs and everything coming after you. And down here they got these freakishly deformed like super bugs where they come after you and like... They were almost trying to kill you or something. I know that yesterday this wasp came after me and this darn thing almost killed me. Like this thing was almost as long as my finger or something. It was so terrible, I'm telling you. So yeah, that's another positive thing about the Hint SPF here is that despite the fruity smell, it does not attract any bees or bugs to you, which is more reason enough for me to recommend this stuff. So uh, yeah, that is my recommendation of Hint SPF 30 Broadband Protection Whatever. And if you are on the pasty side, you might need to go for SPF 100. But this is like for light SPF. If you just want to get a little bit of uh, sun whatever, you know, for those vitamin D levels. But you want to protect yourself a little bit. That way you don't get skin cancer. So, uh, yeah, my recommendation Hint SPF, 
Go for it, folks. Till next time. Okay? Later.